Burkina Faso has just demanded for a permanent seat at the UN Security Council. The quest for a permanent seat on the UN Security Council is a complex and multifaceted challenge, one that poses unique obstacles for African nations. While securing this coveted position may seem straightforward for Western powers, the path forward for the African continent is far more intricate. To achieve this goal, Africa must leverage its economic might, forge strategic alliances, employ skilled diplomacy, and capitalize on its moral authority. Africa's exclusion from the permanent membership of the UN Security Council is a glaring historical injustice that must be rectified. As the world's second-largest and second-most populous continent, Africa's strategic importance has never been more evident. It is time for the global governance system to reflect the realities of the 21st century, and that means ensuring Africa has a permanent and powerful voice. The roots of Africa's marginalization on the global stage can be traced back to the colonial era. When European powers arbitrarily divided up the continent at the Berlin Conference in 1884-85, they stripped Africans of agency and voice. This legacy of colonialism and neocolonialism has left the continent grappling with artificial borders, weak institutions, and external interference in its affairs. However, Africa is no longer the passive player it once was. With booming economies, a young and dynamic population, and increasing geopolitical clout, the time has come for the continent to assert its rightful influence. Africa's demand for permanent representation on the Security Council is not just about righting a historical wrong, it is about ensuring that the future of global governance reflects the realities of the modern world. Africa's strategic importance is undeniable. Home to the world's fastest-growing population and some of its most rapidly expanding economies, the continent is poised to be a major driver of global growth and innovation in the coming decades. From technological breakthroughs to renewable energy development, Africa is leading the way in areas that will define the future of humanity. Moreover, Africa's rich cultural heritage, diverse perspectives, and emphasis on community collaboration offer a unique model for global governance, one that is more inclusive, equitable, and sustainable than the current system. The continent's experience in conflict resolution and peacebuilding also provides invaluable insights that could enhance the Security Council's effectiveness in maintaining international peace and security. Despite these compelling reasons, Africa remains without permanent representation on the Security Council. This is a glaring injustice that undermines the legitimacy and effectiveness of the global governance system. The world cannot afford to continue ignoring the continent's significance and potential contributions. Granting Africa permanent seats on the Security Council is not just about giving the continent a voice, it is about ensuring that the global decision-making process is more representative, responsive, and reflective of the realities of the modern world. Africa's inclusion would bring new perspectives, experiences, and solutions to the table, strengthening the Council's ability to address the complex challenges facing the international community. Moreover, Africa's permanent representation would send a powerful signal about the evolving power dynamics in the global system. It would challenge the outdated, Western-centric model of global governance and pave the way for a more equitable, multipolar world order. This is not only crucial for the continent's own development and security, but for the stability and prosperity of the entire global system. Of course, the path to achieving this goal is not without its challenges. Africa's diversity, both in terms of cultures and political systems, has sometimes made unity difficult. The legacy of colonialism and the ongoing influence of external powers also pose significant obstacles to the continent's quest for greater representation and autonomy. However, these challenges are not insurmountable. Recent developments, such as the launch of the African Continental Free Trade Area AFCFTA, and the African Union's Agenda 2063, demonstrate the continent's growing economic and political integration. Moreover, there is a growing recognition among African leaders that their collective strength far outweighs their weaknesses, and that unity is essential for securing Africa's rightful place on the global stage. To achieve this unity, the African Union must take the lead in coordinating the continent's diplomatic efforts to secure permanent representation on the Security Council. This will require a shared vision, a commitment to dialogue and mutual respect, and a willingness to put aside narrow national interests for the greater good of the continent. 
It is a tall order, but one that is essential for Africa to claim its rightful place in the global order. In the face of these challenges, what will the Security Council demand of Africa to grant it permanent representation? There are a few key areas where the continent must demonstrate its readiness and commitment. 1. Strengthening regional integration and cooperation, the Security Council will likely want to see evidence of Africa's ability to work together as a unified bloc, effectively addressing regional conflicts and security challenges. Deepening economic, political, and social integration through initiatives like the AFCFTA will be crucial. 2. Enhancing good governance and democratic practices, the Council will likely scrutinize Africa's record on human rights, the rule of law, and transparent, accountable governance. Strengthening democratic institutions and tackling corruption will be essential. 3. Bolstering conflict resolution and peacekeeping capabilities, Africa's extensive experience in mediation, conflict resolution, and peacekeeping operations will be a significant asset. The Council will likely want to see the continent's continued commitment to these efforts, as well as its ability to deploy effective, well-trained forces when necessary. 4. Promoting sustainable development and climate action, given the global importance of Africa's natural resources and its vulnerability to the impacts of climate change, the Council will likely emphasize the continent's efforts to pursue sustainable, equitable development and lead the way in addressing environmental challenges. 5. Ensuring inclusive representation and participation, the Council will likely want to see that Africa's permanent representation reflects the diversity of the continent, with a range of perspectives and experiences brought to the table. Meeting these demands will not be easy, but Africa has the potential and the determination to do so. By embracing its unity and diversity, leveraging its growing economic and political clout, and demonstrating its commitment to global peace and security, the continent can make a compelling case for its rightful place on the Security Council. Africa's vast wealth of natural resources, from oil and gas to minerals and agriculture, is not merely a commodity, but rather a bargaining chip. By asserting control over the flow of these resources, the continent can negotiate from a position of strength. Imagine the impact if Africa were to collectively decide to withhold its resources until its demands for permanent representation are met, the global economy would be forced to take notice. This economic leverage is a powerful tool that Africa must wield strategically. In addition to economic might, Africa can forge strategic alliances with other global players who share a vested interest in a more equitable world order. The BRICS nations, for instance, have long advocated for reforming the UN Security Council to better reflect the current geopolitical realities. By aligning with these emerging powers, Africa can create a formidable bloc that cannot be ignored. These alliances are not merely about gaining support, they are about reshaping the global order to reflect the diversity and complexity of the modern world. Diplomacy is another critical component of Africa's strategy. The continent must engage in robust diplomatic efforts, not only with the current permanent members of the Security Council but also with other influential nations and regional blocs. Africa's diplomatic corps must be well-trained, well-resourced, and strategically deployed to lobby for support in key capitals around the world. This means building relationships, making deals, and ensuring that Africa's case is heard loud and clear in every corner of the globe. Furthermore, Africa must speak with one voice in international forums. The African Union must take the lead in coordinating these efforts, ensuring that all African nations are aligned in their messaging and strategy. This requires putting aside national interests for the greater good of the continent, a challenge that demands visionary leadership and a commitment to the Pan-African ideal. Beyond these practical strategies, Africa can also leverage its moral authority as the continent that has suffered the most under the current global order. Africa's call for change is not just a demand, it is a moral imperative. The history of exploitation, colonization, and marginalization has given Africa a unique perspective on justice, equity, and the importance of inclusive governance. This moral authority can be a powerful tool in Africa's arsenal as it seeks to secure its rightful place on the global stage. Alongside these strategic efforts, Africa must also invest in its people and infrastructure to strengthen its bargaining position. Education, healthcare, and technological innovation are critical areas where Africa must focus its efforts. 
By developing a skilled and educated workforce, Africa can not only meet the demands of the global economy but also drive innovation and economic growth within the continent. Investing in infrastructure such as transportation, energy, and communication networks will further enhance Africa's ability to compete on the global stage and attract investment. But even with the best strategies, there is a crucial question to address. What will Africa's role look like once it secures a permanent seat on the Security Council? A permanent African seat on the Security Council would be a game-changer for global politics. Africa would bring a perspective that is currently missing, a perspective rooted in resilience, community, and an understanding of the challenges faced by the global South. Africa's experience with conflict resolution, peacebuilding, and post-conflict reconstruction offers valuable lessons that can inform global efforts to maintain peace and security. Africa could champion issues like poverty alleviation, climate change, and conflict resolution from a position of lived experience. The continent has been at the forefront of the fight against poverty, not just as a recipient of aid, but as a leader in developing innovative solutions. Africa's leadership in this area could help shape global policies that are more inclusive, sustainable, and effective in addressing the root causes of poverty and inequality. Climate change is another area where Africa's voice is desperately needed. The continent is one of the most vulnerable to the impacts of climate change, despite contributing the least to global greenhouse gas emissions. Africa's representation on the Security Council would ensure that the voices of those most affected by climate change are heard in global discussions on environmental policy. This could lead to more ambitious and equitable climate action, benefiting not just Africa but the entire planet. Moreover, Africa's seat could serve as a voice for other underrepresented regions, helping to democratize the Security Council and make it more reflective of today's world. The current structure of the Security Council is a relic of a bygone era, one that no longer reflects the reality of the 21st century. By advocating for broader reforms, Africa can help create a more inclusive and representative global governance system, one that gives a voice to all nations, not just the most powerful. This seat would not just be a symbolic victory, it would be a platform to push for real, substantive change in global governance. Africa could lead efforts to reform not just the Security Council, but the entire UN system, ensuring that it works for all nations, not just a select few. This could include pushing for reforms in how peacekeeping missions are conducted, advocating for fairer trade practices, and ensuring that international law reflects the interests and values of all nations. Africa's role on the Security Council would also be an opportunity to strengthen regional organizations like the African Union. By working closely with the AU and other regional bodies, Africa can ensure that its voice on the Security Council reflects the collective interests of the continent. This would not only enhance Africa's influence on the global stage but also strengthen regional cooperation and integration. Furthermore, Africa's presence on the Security Council could catalyze greater unity and integration within the continent. By representing the collective interests of Africa, the continent's leaders would be encouraged to work more closely together, fostering a sense of shared responsibility and common purpose. This could lead to greater collaboration on issues such as infrastructure development, economic integration, and security, further strengthening Africa's position in the world. Finally, Africa's seat on the Security Council would be a powerful symbol of the continent's rise and its rightful place in global governance. It would send a clear message to the world that Africa is no longer content to be a passive participant in international affairs but is ready to take its place as a leader and a partner in shaping the future of our planet. So, Africa's demand for a permanent seat on the UN Security Council is not just about representation, it's about justice, equity, and the recognition of our continent's growing power and influence. Through unity, strategic alliances, and moral authority, Africa can and will secure its rightful place on the global stage. The world is changing, and Africa is at the forefront of that change. Africa is not asking for permission to lead, they are asserting their right to do so. The future is African, and it's time the world acknowledged it. As for the prospect of Burkina Faso being the first African nation to secure a permanent seat, it could indeed pave the way for other African countries to follow suit. However, it is likely that Western powers may put up obstacles to prevent such a scenario, as they may be reluctant to cede their influence on the global stage. 
Nonetheless, the momentum generated by a successful African bid for a permanent seat could inspire further efforts and solidify the continent's collective voice on the world stage. Thanks for watching till the end. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like as well as a sub so more people can see this.